OK, so what I'd like to do in this example is for you guys to determine if these two triangles, all right, to determine if these two triangles are going to be a proportion of each other, or I'm sorry, or if they're similar. And then if they are similar, find the ratio from A to B, where notice that A is our smaller triangle, and B is going to be our larger triangle. B is like this. It's not existing this line. B doesn't include that line, OK? B is just the big triangle, all right? And what I say a lot of times is to separate it, because it does make it easier sometimes to separate the smaller out of the bigger so you can see them separately, right? Because I know it does get confusing trying to figure out like which figure is which. But A is the small triangle. B is just the larger triangle, OK? Uh, yeah. So now what I like to do is, can we determine if they're similar or not? Now, even if you protect your phone, it doesn't really mean I can't see that you're still paying attention to it. Um, so it's good thinking. But what I want you to do is to go ahead and write this down, that you have this. Um, what we need to do is, to pr produce this is similar, we need to create, didn't we already talk about this? How do we show that things are similar? We need to create a proportion, proportion right? So um, I don't even think in this problem, yeah, so um, to show that these are proportionate, or at least I need to see, to sh actually, they already, um, in this notes, actually, there he says, determine whether A from A to B is an enlargement or a reduction, and then find, OK. So this actually already is a proportion. We just need to determine, is this a reduction, or is this a, um, is a reduction, or is this an enlargement? Sorry, they already say they're similar. So to go from A to B, are we going to make this bigger or smaller? Bigger. Bigger, right? So it's an enlargement. Obviously. You'd be surprised. <laughs> OK? Isn't it yeah. It's larger. You're going from smaller to bigger. So it's an enlargement, right? You're creating something bigger. But now we need to find that scale factor, K, right? Remember I talked about, I was going to tell you, we're going to try to find that scale factor, K. Now to find scale factor, K, what we need to do is set up a ratio to find that k. So we need to find two lengths, two lengths that we can compare. I probably don't want to find the length of this because it's a diagonal on a grid. That means I have to use the distance formula to find it, right? Probably don't want to do this one because I have to create another diagonal. However, well, the altitude actually is going to be a little bit switched around on this. But if I rotate it around and I found the altitude, but here you can see on this grid, I have this nice line. Because right, you want to compare the sides, right? You got it when you're creating a portion, you want to create the sides, even though, yes, you could actually use the altitude as well. That would do the same thing. Um, so in this case, let's go ahead and find the sides. But the altitude actually would work as well, Dustin. So if I create the side here, I have um, from A to B. So we have A to B. So A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm saying, all right, so it started at 4, and then it expands or enlarges up to 8. So what is that k? Remember, k has to be greater than 1 or less than 1? Greater. greater than 1, because it's an enlargement. So to write this as a ratio, I'd write it like this, with my b over my a, and therefore that equals 2. So the enlargement from a to b has a scale factor of 2, which we know is correct, because obviously it's greater than 1, correct? And there you go.